morning. This is your Boone County Brief. For Monday, June 22nd, I'm Kurt Phillips, the Executive Director of the Boone County Chamber of Commerce. If I were to ask you today what the Equal Opportunity Employment Statement says, would you be able to say that it would treat all people of race, color, religion, sex, sexual orientation, uh, national origin, veteran, or disabled status equally? I don't know that I could have. I just read it. It's, uh, it's hard to remember. And sometimes in our own world, we forget what it means to treat everybody fairly, not only in a personal relationship, but also in the workplace with equal opportunity. So we've decided to bring in a panel of people who have to deal with this all the time. And in fact, some of them teach what equal opportunity and equitable treatment looks like. We're pleased to have Dr. Drew Nelson, who's provost of DMAC, Dr. Brad Menard, superintendent of schools in Boone, Boone Police Chief John Weebold, and also Melissa Rader, uh, Extension Specialist with Iowa State University, who is a specialist in human relations, all part of a panel forum discussion that we will have tomorrow, June 23rd. We're doing this via Zoom. You've probably gotten very familiar with that, so you should know how to do it. We'll have a registration in this Boone County Brief for you to sign up if you have it already. And it's going from noon to one, entitled Silent Bias, Recognizing and Addressing Biases in Your Organization. So we hope you can join us tomorrow for what will be just a short one-hour discussion about treating all people fairly in the workplace, an area that certainly means a lot to us with the Chamber of Commerce and in our mission to serve small business. Hope again you can join us. It looks like Thursday is going to be a pretty phenomenal day for the Chamber Golf Classic. You know, we pushed it back a month. Uh, we'll be at Cedar Point Golf Course this Thursday. Uh, today, up till about noon, you can still register to golf. I'm so pleased we have over 90 people signed up to join us for what is our, our largest fundraiser of the year. It's a big deal to us. It's where we get a lot of our cash to be able to run our operation. So a huge thank you to those folks who've signed up and are sponsoring holes, and we're really looking forward to a great Thursday out at Cedar Point Golf Course. You know, volunteers are the heart of the success of the Chamber of Commerce. And I kept bumping into this one guy who had recently retired and I wanted to put a thank you out to my good friend and former Iowa High School Athletic Association Director, Alan Besty, who I conned or twisted his arm into rebuilding the back entrance ramp here at the Chamber of Commerce. It was in quite a bit of disrepair, needed a lot of work, and thanks to his efforts, we have a phenomenal new, safer ramp entrance to the back side of the Chamber of Commerce. I hope you have a great week. Stay safe.